Section 8.5, we finish up with Chapter 8, looking at polar graphs and the different kinds of graphs and how to do them in our calculator, actually. So the first group are the circles and lemniscates. And um, like if you have the form r equals a cosine theta, r equals a sine theta, you're going to get a circle. Um, either you're going to be above the x-axis, you're going to be to the right of the y-axis, something like that. Those will be circles. The lemniscates look to me like propellers, and that's where you've got r squared equals a squared sine 2 theta or cosine 2 theta. And to graph those, you would really have to have two, um, two pieces, and we have one in our homework like that. Then down here... We've got lima cons. They look kind of like lima beans to me, and they have different different shapes. This one has an inner loop. This one has goes in at the origin but doesn't make that extra loop inside. This one does not meet at the origin. A over B is between 1 and 2. This one's where it's equal to 1. This one's where it's less than 1. If it's greater than or equal to 2, it kind of loses some of its shape. And then the rose curves are really the, the most fun to graph because they do actually make all kinds of petals or leaves. And um, so those, if n is 2, it might look like that, 4, 3, 5. So you get different pictures. Now as far as our calculator, we do want to be in degree mode and we want to be in polar. So those two need to happen. And then you're going to put it in just like it reads to cosine 5 theta. And if you, if you do a zoom 6, I think you might get that window. But remember, we're going from 0 to 360. But I think zoom 6 will get you the petals, uh, the leaves. So keep that in mind. So try these settings and zoom 6 should work. I'll try to do that. So let's go look at our problem set. The first one says find the po polar graph of the equation. If you try this on your calculator or what you want to think about, this is saying a radius of 9 and going from 0 to 360. And this, when I first looked at it, was confusing because I saw 90 here. That's the way I was reading it. But this is 0 degrees, 90, 180, 270, and it's showing you that the radius is 9. Here, there's a 9 for the radius, but the circle is not to that. Same thing here. It is a very small circle, not a radius of 9. This isn't a circle. So this one's perfect. It hits at 9, and it goes all the way around. So that's your, your picture for that one. For these next ones, I did them in the calculator. So 5 cosine 2 theta. So I put it in like that. That's my y equals menu. And then this is what I came out with. And, of course, then it's easy to match the picture. Um, these both have four petals, but look, these petals are going along the x-axis, so I think it's pretty easy to match. Number three, three plus three cosine theta. When I put that one in, I got this picture, and you can see that it is A, because it is the only one that is doing that, and that's a cardioid. It looks kind of like a heart the cardioid for this one this is that one r squared equals 25 cosine 2 theta so if you were solving that for r because we have to have just an r here if you take the square root of both sides you have r equals plus or minus the square root of 25 cosine 2 theta so then I put that in two pieces I had the positive piece here the negative piece here. It doesn't quite finish the graph for me the way I did the window, I think, but you can tell it is going to be A, the lemniscate. Uh, it is that propeller. 
and it's because you've got two pieces of this. So I think you'll be able to, to match that one and see it. Practice with that a little bit. Number five uh, says one minus sine theta. And I think what helps you match, look at the, the min and maxes of the windows. It, we're at negative two, two on all of that. So if you'll change your window, instead of a zoom six, maybe just change your window and you'll probably see it a little bigger, a little better. But it again is a cardioid um, in that shape. So I think, let's see, number six should be the last one. So we have this one and it says with a calculator set to radian mode, use the given value of A and interval of theta to graph this. So make sure that you're in radian mode for this one. We're doing a spiral of Archimedes. It's a cool one. And then just go and set your um, information in. So you're given a value of 1.7 for A and that theta falls between negative four pi and four pi, and these are your x's and, and uh, y's on the max. So when you go to your window right here, theta min is negative four pi. It'll put a decimal, but you can put in negative four pi, and this is positive four pi and negative 25 and 25 for the y mins and maxes in your in your y equals you're putting y equals one whoops you're putting y equals 1.7 theta because you're trying to match this and they give you an a value of 1.7 so you put that in, put that as your window, and hit graph, and you get this lovely graph, and you can tell that that is A. So I think that'll get you started and get you where you can graph a polar equation.